Good afternoon, South Florida. I'm Denise Fernandez. Here's a look at stories making news today, beginning with the second assassination attempt against former President Trump. The man connected to the incident Sunday in West Palm Beach is now charged with federal gun crimes. A new video shows the arrest of 58 year old Ryan Ruth in Martin County in a traffic stop on I-95. Investigators say he was armed with an AK-47 style rifle at Trump International Golf Course while the former president was near the fifth hole. A Secret Service agent one hole ahead of Trump spotted the barrel of a rifle and opened fire. That suspect was later taken into custody. Ruth appearing in court today. He is charged with possession of a firearm with an obliterated serial number and possession of a firearm as a convicted felon. He is being held at the Palm Beach County Main Detention Center in West Palm Beach. Dolphins quarterback Tua Tunga Viola does not currently plan to retire, according to a report by the NFL Network. He was sidelined after taking a hard hit last week. Tua sustaining his fourth concussion in just the past five years on Thursday night, going down in the third quarter of the Dolphins' loss to the Bills. It only took a few minutes to diagnose him after the brutal takedown. Moving forward, Tunga Viola will consult with his doctors. In the meantime, backup quarterback Skylar Thompson will enter Dolphins' practice today as the first-string quarterback. Crime on camera, a man seen stealing a car while the vehicle's owner was pumping air into a tire. This happened on August 31st on Hampton Boulevard in North Lauderdale. The video shows a man pumping air into the 2020 black Chevy Equinox when a stranger walks up. Police say once the owner finished, he noticed this unknown man getting into the car and driving off. Anyone who recognizes the suspect is asked to call police. As breaking news happens, we have you covered on air and online. Head on over to local10.com for more local news coverage and updates.